Hey everyone, this is Shane from developjava.com and today I'm going to be talking about a couple basic um, things that you'll need to know if you want to program. Now these aren't Java specific, um, so these are great things to know and understand if you want to program in any language. So go through those today and uh, make sure that we understand these. The first thing we go through is uh, math operators or arithmetic operators. Then we'll be looking at order of operations and finally variables. So arithmetic operators here, um, obviously these are things that most people know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Um, you may not know this last one, this modulo reduction one. This this may be something that's Java specific, I'm not real sure, so I'll cover it briefly, um, and then we'll go more into, in depth than that in some of my later tutorials. But the reason I want to bring this up is a lot of times we don't know, or people don't know, this symbol for multiplication. I know in lower grades we're always taught that x equals multiplication, so for instance like 3 times 2 would be represented this way. Um, but in, in programming and algebra and higher math, um, it's always represented by an asterisk. And division is kind of the same thing. Um, a lot of times we have the division with the, you know, it's got the, like, the, the line in the middle with the dot over and under it represents division for us. Um, but when you're programming, it's always going to be the slash. It's always going to represent division. Now the modulo reduction here, um, it needs some explanation, but for now, all you really need to know about it is that it gets remainder. So if you have three modulus, um, or let's say five modulus three, um, it's going to get, basically it's going to divide five divided by three, and it's going to give us the remainder. So the remainder of this is two, obviously. So that's kind of what that does, and like I said, I'll go more into that a little bit later. Next thing we'll talk about here is the order of operations. This is really important to know because when you're going through, or your program's going through, um, any math that you've put in it or told it to evaluate, you need to know how the computer looks at it and how it's going to evaluate the um, problem that you've given it. So this is the way that it does it. First it's going to do parentheses, then multiplication, then division, addition, and subtraction. So let's go ahead and evaluate this equation that I've got here and so we can see how this works. So the first thing you always do is you always evaluate the equation that's inside of the parentheses. And when you're inside of the parentheses, you still follow this order of operations. So the first thing we want to do here, since we've got um, a multiplication and division both inside the parentheses, we know that we do multiplication first. So let's do that. So we know 3 times 4 is 12. Next we can do our division. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. So let's rewrite our equation here. 6 plus 7 minus 4. And now that we don't have any parentheses left, we don't have any multiplication now in our equation. We don't have any division, but we do have addition, so we'll do 6 plus 7, and that's 13, minus 4. And now lastly, we do our subtraction, and we know that 13 minus 4 is 9. So as you can see there, that's how you um, evaluate an equation going using the order of operations, and it's really important that we follow those steps, um, because that's exactly how the computer's going to do it when it's evaluating um, any, any math that we give it. Next thing I want to talk about here are variables. We're really going to use a lot of variables in our programming. And what a variable is, is just, it's just a letter representation or a name representation. It's any, any way you want to represent a value that changes. So for example here, I have A representing age. Now the reason, let's say for example you were doing a um, program that finds somebody's birth age. Well this could be tw 26, age could be 32. Sorry, 32, it can be 56, we don't know what it is, depending on the person that's using our program, it's going to be different. So that's why this is a variable, the, the person's age is going to be stored in a variable, because it's always going to change, and we can always just represent that with, let's say, you know, the letter A, or even the name age, we could have age equal to 12, or whatever it might be. And so we kind of get the same concept here with hair color and dog name, um, these are just all things that, that are going to change, so we don't ever want to want to uh, give it a certain value, we want to be able to update it depending on who's using our program. So that's pretty much the three basic concepts that you'll need to know as far as um, getting started here. As long as you understand these three things, and we'll go into uh, more depth of those in, in some of my later tutorials here, but as long as you understand these things, you can you have a good basis to get started and uh, to start programming. So. Go ahead and if you guys like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have plenty more videos coming along down the road. And uh, check out my website. It's just getting started, but it's definitely I'm definitely working on building it. Uh, developjava.com. Thanks.